Hey, so, Prepper Kids, it's not what you think. So I was inspired this morning by a friend of mine, a really good friend of mine. And um, we noticed that there's just not a lot of stuff about kids and preparedness. And the things that I could find, it was about like, teach them to navigate by the stars and teach them situational awareness and how to shoot and know their address. And I was thinking, you know, we really need to get to the core of preparing our children. I have six children. I have 15 grandchildren that I know of. None of my kids are perfect. But I wanted to talk about the three things that I know about. And those three things are pretty simple. Mental, moral, physical. Are your kids mentally prepared for the world? Are they morally prepared for the world? And are they physically prepared for the world? Now, before we get into it, something you need to think about. <coughs> In this day and age, there's a lot of mixed families out there. So, things you need to think about. One, if you're dealing with a young child, they are malleable. You can shape them into what you want to shape them into. So, do things right. Um, do things right daily. Uh, remember that they're watching you and they will emulate you. The other next thing, as far as ages go, teenagers. Teenagers, they're trying to distance themselves, not necessarily from you, but they're trying to create their own independence. So you need to remember that if you're going to teach them anything. Now, with that said, the first thing is mental. What is mental? Uh, mental is their faculties. Are they mentally prepared for the world? And the things that we need to focus on um, are actually pretty simple because they've been getting taught to us since the beginning of time. One, challenge your kids. They're tougher than you think they are. They can go on hikes. They can, they can do physical labor in the yard. They can work in the garden. They can do things that we think they can't, but they can because their bodies are resilient. We're made that way. You need to remember that their interests are gonna be different than yours. Especially as they get older, they'll become more interested in things that you may not be interested in. Don't discount that. Try to work that into your prep somehow. Um, I don't know, buy them a survival video game. The reality is, is that they like video games. I like video games. So it's something to think about. Encourage critical thinking. Don't let them be a drone. Make them use their brains. Make them read. It's not going to hurt them. It's going to make them stronger. Teach them resiliency. Fall down. Get up. Learn. It's a simple process. We all go through it, whether we like it or not. Failure is a learning experience. Teach them that it's okay to be alone because there's a difference between being alone and lonely. Emphasize love, not fear. Remember that we prepare so that we're not in fear. Teach them to stay calm. Overly emotional reactions make bad situations worse. If you think there's something else mentally that we need to add to this conversation, down there. And now we're going to move on to the second category of things that you need to teach your kids. Moral. The moral category is actually pretty simple. You know, uh, it has a lot to do with you. You need to be telling your kids why they're doing something and how important it is. And you need to tell them if they do something wrong that it's inappropriate and why. Show them that adulting is hard. That's their catchphrase, not yours, by the way. And that it'll be okay because you're going to help them get there. Teach them when to speak up and when to be quiet and observe. This requires you to teach them about the world that is around them. Teach them personal responsibility and integrity. People need to trust you. All right, now for the third thing. Physical. Yeah, physical. Get them off the couch. Video games should only be a small portion of their day, even though I love to play video games all day long. I'm not a child, so I can get away with that. Emphasize physical activity. 
don't force it on them. Don't push them into after school football, soccer, whatever it is, because if they don't enjoy it, they're not going to do it. It's gonna be bad for them all the way around and they're gonna make it bad for you. But physical activity is a must. Teach a healthy diet. The Greek philosopher said, everything in moderation. You might wanna take that to heart. It doesn't mean McDonald's is bad. It just means that McDonald's is bad every week. All right, so those are the three things, mental, moral, and physical. If you've got this far, now it's time to adjust you, the adult. What I wanna ask you to do is to be a role model, to be your kid's superhero. Do as I say, not as I do, doesn't really work. We think it does, but it doesn't. My mantra has always been, it's hard to do the right thing but it's even hard to do the right thing when people aren't looking. If you teach your kids that, they'll do the right thing all the time. Okay, so now you know how I feel about kids and prepping. And um, I hope this video struck a chord with you. And I hope that uh, you stay safe. And I hope that you have a great day. Till next time. Mm -hmm.